mushrooms, onions, dried porcini, some thyme, a little bit of butter, and to start the sauce, we're gonna have to chop the onion. doesn't have to go extremely small, it's really quite fine, it's all going to be in the sauce. We're not going to be using it as a garnish. It's going to be there just to bring flavor to the stock. And once we have this really beautiful fragrant stock, we're going to strain it, we're going to add some creme fraiche, and that's going to make a beautiful porcini sauce. You can use cream as well, but I personally like that little sour note that Cram Fresh brings to it. It's an, uh, different, it's an extra element that is not very often used, but for me, just brings something extra. Also the mushrooms, nicely washed. Doesn't really matter how we cut them. A little bit small because we want that flavor to release. If you leave them too big, not all the flavors can flow out. But in this case, we're cutting them like that. We can already heat up our shallots, little drop of oil, and then we're gonna add the thyme, we're gonna add the mushrooms, we're gonna add the porcinis, and all together, this is gonna be delicious. There we go, we have our onions, little drop of oil, and we're gonna cook them till they get translucent. They need a little longer than the mushrooms and the rest. That's why we start with the onions, we're gonna add the mushrooms on top, that's gonna start to release some liquid already. We're gonna add the porcini, we're gonna add a little bit of butter, we're gonna add that thyme, make it really nice and aromatic, and then we're gonna add our chicken stock to this. Now the chicken stock is gonna take all those flavors out, out of all these beautiful ingredients, and that is going to become the base of our sauce. And before we finish, we add that creme fraiche. That is a little sour element, but also a creaminess. And when we use our hand blender, it's going to foam up beautifully. It's going to be really nice and light to eat. We'll be serving loads of the sauce. So when they start to cook, we're fine to add our mushrooms. Get them going real nicely. Keep the fire a little bit high. We want to bring the flavors out, so we want to keep the flames a little bit up. We want to toast it. We want to get the aromas going. Once the mushrooms are in, we're going to add the porcini. We're going to add the thyme. We're going to add a little bit of butter. Really fry it up all together. And then we're going to add the stock. These roasting flavors for me, they're really important. Whether it is on fish, whether it is on meat, or whether you're making a sauce, like the base preparation of flavor and enhancement, that is what happens here right now in the pan. When we put in the onions, when we're bringing in the mushrooms, when we're putting the aromatics, all those ingredients need to heat up nicely, they need to be toasted a little bit. It's a bit like spices, they need a good toast to really bring out the best. You can smell it as well, I can smell the little a little bit of caramelization happening at the bottom of the pan. That's exactly what we're looking for because that's going to give body to the sauce. If this is all just boiled together, we're not going to get a beautiful end product. It's going to be too bland. We're not going to have the real essence of mushrooms and thyme and, and delicious onions. Now the mushrooms are going, pouring in the porcinis. We have about 30 grams of them. Good quality. Look for a specialty shop. There is a big difference in freshness and in the quality of dried porcinis. I always do really strive to find the best I possibly can. There's nice specialty shops all over the country where you can find beautifully dried seasonal porcinis. I'm gonna add the thyme. Quite a good bunch. really smell it everything is going on here this it, it is quite a sensation up here and once this is going a bit of butter and then the stock we'll let that sit together and simmer for about 10-15 minutes till all the flavors have been absorbed then we're gonna drain that off 
gonna put it into a new saucepan and it will be ready to foam up. It's gonna be really beautiful. Now all the butter has melted into here, all the flavors are going, and we're gonna add the stock and have that simmer. But the room is filled with aromas. It is absolutely delicious up here. There's so much happening in this little pot and it's gonna give us a real great end result. And we have a little pot here for our beautiful porcini sauce. Now this sauce smells delicious. All the flavors from all the aromatics that we've put in have completely transferred to the liquid. And now we strain that off. That's going to be absolutely delicious. There it is, our beautiful porcini sauce. So we've strained our porcini sauce into a fresh pot and we're gonna foam this up with a handheld blender, see if we can create a nice foam. Now we like light cooking. And I'm not a big fan of really thick, heavy sauces. That's why I like to use the handheld blender. Because when the consistency is right, you can make beautiful airy sauces that are packed full of flavor. And this one is no different. If you see how beautiful that comes up, then that's gonna give us a beautiful pairing with the grilled sea bass and the leeks. Have a little taste. Gonna need a little pinch of salt there. And I wanna crack the black pepper. One more spin, see if we get it right this time. As we say, cooking is about tasting, cooking is about trying, seeing where we're at. You know, we've added a little salt in the beginning. We need a little bit more. And we're gonna taste until we get it right. Mm. That is absolutely delicious like that. The crème fraîche is giving it such a beautiful note that goes so well with the mushroom meat and it almost starts to taste nutty. We wanna be holding the pan at an angle and we're gonna foam exactly at the edge. This way, you're gonna get maximum volume in your sauce. It's gonna look very beautiful. It's also gonna eat delicious. Porcini sauce 